Welcome to this training. Do you work with Word documents where you type information into one area and need the exact typed information to automatically populate in other areas in the document? This prevents you from having to type the identical information multiple times. If this would be helpful to you, you're going to want to watch this training video. And for this training, we will be using an existing Word document. It contains three pages. And as you see on the screen, it has form fields, total of three pages. And within the three pages, there is shared information that once we type it on page number one, we'd like it to auto populate into the other pages in the different areas that needs to be filled. In this case, we'll start off with county. Type in the word Bradley. Now one thing to point out, whenever you are using a Word document and form fields, even though this document is locked and restricted, you can press enter while you're within the form field and automatically adjust or move down the text within the document. So you'll always wanna make sure whenever you are in a form field area, simply press the tab key on your keyboard take you to the next form field area. This county area, this will auto populate corresponding page number two in the county field here. I'll show you exactly what we need to do to get that to auto populate. So I'm gonna press tab on the keyboard. See that auto populated word or text Bradley. Next will be defendant. Let's go ahead the name that will auto populate in state versus. Next we'll go to charges and in the charges form field I have this already on my clipboard so I will press control V on the keyboard and we'll go to page two to actually look at charges. Press tab. Auto fills the information. And for this specific document, we will want to enter information in the factual summary form field. Click within the text box form field. Have the information typed on or saved to my clipboard. Once I have pasted that information in, we'll go to the facts of the case, press tab, automatically insert that information and you can see here the facts were relayed over so if we go back to page number one have the factual information on page number two it carried over also inserted it into this area on page three now instead of rearranging this document I'm going to simply delete a few fields and we'll show you how you can create this within any document that you may have. What we'll want to do, you must make sure that developer tab is available within Microsoft Word. If it is not, simply right click anywhere within your ribbon. It can be, say, if you were in the, in the home tab, simply right click anywhere within the ribbon click customize the ribbon and all you want to make sure is the developer tab is checked and available if not you may need to go to the choose commands from click all commands then click within the navigation and press D on your keyboard and scroll to locate developer and you may just need to add just make sure the checkbox is checked for developer. After that is there, specifically for this document, I'm just going to remove the restriction. So we'll click stop protection. Now I have free reign of all fields within this document. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna focus more on 
let's say page number three. I'm going to get rid of one field for case number. We'll just use these two just to give you a quick understanding of what to do. And we'll get this information from the other two pages in order to fill and complete this data. Now in this case, I'm just going to modify the existing document. I'm going to call this case number. And we'll just use these two fields here in order to show you where the information will come from and how to get it inserted from page two in this section into the case number and ADAG section on page three. So what you want to do, you need to make sure first off that you do have a form field. So when we are at case number, we want a form field inserted here. Let's make sure once again you are in the developer tab. Click the drop down here for legacy tools and we want to select legacy forms. That will automatically insert the form field. If you want to underline, you can certainly click the underscore option for that to be available. You can double click the form field. And this is where it's going to get its actual name or it uses what's called a bookmark. So we currently see bookmark. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to rename this. So bookmark, and you want it to be renamed with the actual field that you're going to fill. So in our case, we're on page two. We have case number. On page three, we want that information also to be auto-populated. So we're going to let's simply name this case no. So type that underneath the bookmark in that text field. You're going to want to click calculate on exit. Press OK. And to get the information from case number in this form field, after it's typed in, over to case number on page three, you're going to want to press control plus the F9 key on your keyboard. Now what that will do is create a reference going back to the form field that you're wanting it to associate with. Currently there is no reference and how we identify that since we're wanting to auto populate the case number information we'll type in capital REF and that bookmark name is how we're going to name this and that was case no. Let's do the same thing for ADAG. We want to insert the form field. Again, highlight. You can also always underline. Double click to go into it. And we're going to want to name this. We'll call this ADAG. Once again, click Calculate on Exit, press OK. Control F9 on your keyboard in the ADAG field. Excuse me. Control F9. Call this ref ADAG. All right, now let's verify this to make sure that it works. So what we want to do from this point, you need to click the developer tab and you need to restrict editing so that only form fields are allowed or filling in forms. So when you click the restrict editing button, you'll see this information appear over to the right. Editing restrictions, you want to make sure that Filling in forms is selected and check mark in the box. Click yes, start enforcing protection. 
And in our case, we do not want to password protect it. If you would like that to occur, simply type the password you prefer and also re-enter the password. Press OK. And we'll go immediately to the case number. I'm going to type in just something a little longer than normal. That way we have direct access. Once I press tab, you see over on page three, case number information did auto populate. And once we're in the ADAG, And after the text is fully typed, we we'll want to press tab. We'll reference that over on page two in the ADAG field. And there we go. Thanks for watching this training video regarding auto populating form fields in Word. Hope this training video has been helpful to you and you'll be able to save a lot of time by utilizing this feature in Word. Have a great day.